Namaste yogis and welcome to the channel. I'm Sophie and today's class is an energizing power yoga flow. We'll be working for full body strength and flexibility and I really want this class to help you feel powerful not only on your yoga mat but also for when you step back out into life. We're going to start standing today so when you're ready let's start standing at the back of the mat. Setting the feet hip width apart, let's close off the eyes. Just let the arms rest by the sides. And here, just come into your breath. Let the outside world fade away. And just start to bring your attention to your feet. Really ground down into all four corners of the feet. So outside the big toe, outside the little, little toe, the inner and the outer heel. And then lift the inner arches and outer arches of the feet. And then from there, drawing in through the belly, your center, that's where your fire comes from. Open across the chest, just nice and naturally. So you feel the heart open there. And then lifting up through the crown of the head, standing up nice and tall, like there's a string pulling you up from the crown of your head to about a meter in front of you. So you're really reaching the feet down into the earth and the head is lifting up towards the sky. Just take one more deep breath there. Inhale. And exhale. Let's open the eyes and let's bring some movement into the body. Reach the arms forward. Bend the knees, lifting nice and tall. And then from there, press out through the arms. Let's take that three more times. Lifting up, taking up all the space around you. And again, inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale open wide then from there let's take a chest stretch linking the fingers behind you roll the shoulders back lift through the heart open through the chest there and then from there tuck the chin in towards the chest let's roll down through the spine coming to ragdoll Bend the knees here as much as you need and either keep the arms long or take the backs of the elbows and just take a gentle rock side to side. Just feeling the back easing, the spine lengthening. And then from there, let's walk the hands out. We'll come to bear pose. Uh, wrists directly under shoulders here, knees slightly off. Bring them down if that's better for you though. And then just lift the right leg off, right foot off. Keep it here or extend it long behind you. Bring it in, lower down, other side. Left foot lifts off, hold it here if that's enough. Extend it long, bring it in, place it down, press back, downward facing dog. Heels reach down towards the earth. Let's feel that beautiful stretch through the whole back line of the body. And let's come back to bear. We take that again, lifting the right foot off, hold here or extend long. Draw it in, lower down. All the while, keeping the hips and shoulders nice and square. Extend the left leg out, draw it in, place it down, downward facing dog once again. Last time, coming back to bear. Lift the right foot, hold there if that's enough. Otherwise, extend long, draw it in, bring it down. Really isolate the movement of that leg. Left, extend, in and down. Come to your downward facing dog. And then from there, just pedal through the feet, stretching through the backs of the legs. Stay right there and pedal through the feet if that's enough for you. Otherwise, just come down just to come off the shoulders for a little bit. Maybe give the shoulders a circle. Always remember, there's plenty of options, whatever you need in your practice today. Sometimes we're feeling stronger, sometimes we need to take it a little more gently. Then from there, let's press back, downward facing dog. We're coming to crescent lunge. Bring the right foot through, check the feet are hip width apart for stability, lifting up, Take a wide V with the arms. From here, we take a similar arm sequence to the beginning. Sweep the arms forward, press wide. We've got three more. All the while drawing in through the core to help you stay stable. 
sweep wide and again coming forward and sweep really working through those legs today getting stronger sweep wide and then from there link the fingers press high four pulses just knee slightly off four three two and one that's it hands come down downward facing dog other side already feeling the burn through the legs a little set the feet coming up wide v through the arms sinking low through the legs let's sweep the arms forward come forward remember take up all the space around you main character energy that's us today coming forward open wide last one forward and wide link the fingers press high four pulses four three two and one hands come down downward facing dog moving on let's keep warming through the body uh, creating a little more length through the muscles lift the right leg high behind you tiger curl it through drawing the knee in towards the chest place the foot down fingertip lunge hips come nice and low then from here pyramid pose bring the left foot in slightly so that back foot comes in folding forward over the thigh couple of breaths there really try and square off these hips often that front hip sort of comes forward so pull it back come back to your fingertip lunge and then once again back to pyramid can you find a little more length this time through that hamstring from here let's set up for warrior one plant the back foot down really press down through the outside edge of the foot lift the arms high square off those hips find your fierce warrior then from there warrior two open those arms nice and wide feeling strength through the legs and through the upper body reverse warrior turn the palm lift cut all the hands down come to your high plank I'm coming onto my knees let's take three tricep push-ups three keep those elbows in by your sides two and one lower all the way down this time take cobra pose length through the neck press back downward facing dog let's take the other side left leg lifts high tiger curl it through place the foot down come to your low lunge really feel that stretch through the hip flexor on the right side then from there pyramid turning out that right foot slightly find the stretch a real combination of stretching and strengthening today that's what I love about yoga you can really enjoy both at the same time come back fingertip lunge keep breathing as you move pulling back pyramid and then from there setting up warrior one lift those arms high sink low in the legs can you bend through this front knee a little more then from there warrior two lowering those arms electricity right from the back of the body out through those fingertips reverse warrior turn the palms stay low in the legs as you lengthen through your sides cut all the hands bring the foot back knees or toes if you're ready to really challenge yourself and then three tricep push-ups and two and one all the way down cobra or upward facing dog if you're ready pull back downward facing dog beautiful let's move on bring the right foot through crescent lunge lift the arms here nice and strong in this posture from here we turn to goddess sinking low bring the energy right down into your center can you turn those knees out a little further working through these external rotators and then from here we're coming to star option one either just keep the toe down or if you're ready for it lifting off 
Release, extend through the arms and through the leg. Bring the foot down. We come to extended side angle. Forearm to side, bicep by your heel. Length, ear, lengthen that left foot away. Hold there. Then let's come to High Skandasana, back of the mat. High Skandasana, front of the mat. And from here, hands come down. Step the foot back, vinyasa through. Pull back. Other side, left leg comes through. Feet hip width apart, lift through the arms. From here, goddess pose. Draw your energy down into the center of your body. Then extend it high like a star, reaching wide through the fingers and through the toes. Come back through goddess. Come to your extended side angle, pressing that back foot away from you. And from here, high skandasana, back of the mat. High skandasana, traveling across to the front of the mat. Bring the hands down and all the way through. Find your upward facing dog, pull back downward facing dog. Let's take that once again, a slight variation. I'll give you some more options. Bring the right foot through, lift the arms high. From here, coming low. Let's take star again, lifting off. Be brave, go for it. Come back down. Then from there, extended side angle. Option one, option two, or if you'd like, try the bind. Reach this uh, left arm behind you, right arm comes through. Reach for those fingertips. Hold there wherever you are. Three, two, and one. Skandasana, back of the mat. High or low. Really work through those inner thighs. And let's travel to the front of the mat. Coming across. Take a breath there. And then let's come to our high plank, low plank. Remember, you can always just take the knees down, take cobra, pull back, downward facing dog. Let's take the other side. Left leg comes through, lift through the arms, sink low in the legs, electricity right through the torso, right through the fingertips. Then from there, star. Sorry, goddess pose first. Racing ahead here. Either toe down or lifting off. Reach out through the fingers, reach out through the toes. Coming back through your goddess. Extended side angle. Find the option here on the knee. Bring the hand down or if it's for you, really wrap this right arm behind you. Reach the left arm through. Open through that right shoulder. Wherever you are, let's hold. Three, two, and one. Skandasana, back of the mat. Deep breaths. I can feel my heart rate lifting. I imagine you're the same as me. Let's travel to the front of the mat. Open through those inner thighs, through those hips. Bring the hands down, bring the foot back, all the way through, lowering down, stay strong. Really bringing that main character energy today onto the mat and out into life. Downward facing dog, and then from there, walking the feet up towards the hands. Take a moment to just hang forward in ragdoll. Take a breath. We're going to come to a balancing sequence. So roll up through the spine, take a breath. Let's move on. For our balancing sequence, let's take eagle pose. To start, we'll bring, so stand strongly on that right foot. Let's take the left foot across. Option is to keep the toes down, to lift them off. Or you can always link the, the ankle, the foot around the ankle. We've got the left leg lifted. So left arm comes underneath. Link once at the elbows or twice at the wrists. Really set that gaze on a fixed point in front of you and then lower down. It's just you. 
Focusing on that point in front of you, that focus and the breath. Determination. One more breath there. I'm feeling it too. I'm right there with you. Then bring the foot down. And then from there, keeping the arms where they are, let's extend the leg. We're going to come to warrior three. And the challenge today is to keep these eagle arms if you can. So draw in through the core. Maybe just lift the toe off a little if that's enough for you. Or hinging forward, bringing the left up leg up as you lower down through the body and hold here three two and one can you take the arms wide to aeroplane that beautiful sense of soaring through the air and lower down beautiful can you turn straight to half moon here so set the gaze just a little in front of you on the mat we're going to hinge over sideways. We won't hold too long. That's it. Shoulders and hips stacked. Three, two, and one. And release. Well done. Just give the legs a shake. It's a long time on one leg. Other side. Eagle pose. Setting that left foot into the mat. Core is drawing in. Place the foot across. Either keep the toe down or lift it off and either link once just at the knees here or circle that foot around the ankle. We've got the right leg lifted, so right arm comes underneath. Link once at the elbows, twice at the wrists, settle in. Find that focus. It's a beautiful practice to build our focus for everything we need to do in life. Just one more breath there. And then from there, unhook the right foot. Just tap it down next to you. Let's extend the leg behind you. I'm feeling it in my left leg, but let's keep going. Bring that foot down, keep the arms where they are. Either just taking the foot off slightly or hinging all the way forward, finding a beautiful warrior three with eagle arms. And then from there, if you can, take the arms wide, find your aeroplane, keep your shoulders and hips facing your mat. That's it. And then let's bring the foot down. We'll turn to half moon. For half moon, you wanna really stack those shoulders and hips, take those arms nice and wide, find a beautiful wingspan there, and then hinging over sideways. Keep your gaze down towards the mat just in front of you. Hold, three, two, and one. Release, bend through the legs. Well done, moving on. Just roll down onto your mat. And we're actually going to come to a little bit of lateral abdominal work today. So let's just set the feet hip width apart here. Take the hands behind the head, drawing in through the core. We'll tilt to the right. So go to one side, lengthen the arms out, Bring them in, coming up, and the other side. Just three more each way. Just really working through the side abdominals today. And two more to go. Nice and strong. Last one. That's it. Let's extend the left leg. Just a little more work. So come to the side, then turn to face the mat. Come back and up. Three more. Side, turn, side and up. Working hard today. And up. Let's take the other side. Swapping over. Fingertips behind the head. Let's go. Side, turn, side and up turn really switching on through that core last one 
and up. Good work. Laying down, let's take some hip bridge. So roll down onto the mat. Feet are hip width apart. Lengthen them away a little because we don't want to feel it through the front of the thighs. We want to really feel it through the hammies and through the glutes. Inhale, exhale, rolling up through the spine, rolling down. Let's keep this fairly swift. Coming up and down. We've got six more. Six and five. Really turn on through the back of the body. Three, two, last one. Hold there, we're gonna pulse, eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold there, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five. Relax through the upper body. Four, three, two, and one. Relax down. Good work. I'm feeling it through the backs of the thighs. I bet you are too. Let's come into some stretches. We'll take our upper vishta konasana pose today. So take it as wide as is comfortable for you. Finding your edge, that place of a good stretch, but where you, where you can still keep the muscles relaxed. Let's walk the hands forward. So we don't need to tense up through the upper body. Let's keep our postures fairly active today though. So really working through these external rotators to hold the legs out wide. Just a couple more breaths there. We won't hold too long today. And coming up, let's take a side bend. Hand comes down, reaching the arm high. Inhale, exhale. Really reach those fingers to the side wall. That's it. And the other side, hand comes down, reaching over. And coming up, draw the legs in, we'll come to a hamstring stretch. Lengthening out through the right leg, square off the hips, lift the arms nice and high, inhale, exhale, reaching out, fold on forward, and either flex or point the foot. Just explore where, how the stretch changes for you with a flexed or pointed foot. Walk the hands back up, placing the hand down behind you. Carve a semicircle with the fingertips. We're coming to a spiral twist. You can stay to the side or really press that hand into the mat. Turn the chest, lift the heart towards the sky. Really open here through the body. And coming back down, let's take the other side. Left leg, leg extends long, reach the arms nice and high, fold on forward. Find the hamstring stretch. I felt my heart rate lifting up through those sequences. I think sometimes it's good in yoga to really enjoy the movements and hold the postures, but we like to also find a little bit of uh, a, a bit of heat and a bit of fitness in our practices too. So sometimes it's good to move a little faster. You can let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. Bring the hands back, spiral twist. Place the hand down, reaching the fingertips overhead. Stay to the side or turn the chest nice and high. Really push that right hand into the mat. And coming down. Then from there, just turning to face me, let's take a seated twist. Place the foot in front of the knee or cross it over. Wrap the arm around, lifting nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, find your twist. Mm -hmm. 
and coming back through center, swapping sides. Place the foot wherever suits you, reach the arm around, find your twist. And then from there, just coming to a cross-legged seated position here, let's just fold on forward, rounding through the back of the body. And walk the hands back, place the hands behind you, open through the chest. Beautiful, we'll finish seated today. Just place the hands on the thighs, let's close off the eyes. Just a couple of breaths here. Just really feeling the energy that you've garnered through this practice, keeping it with you as you integrate back into your day. And then when you're ready, let's lift the arms wide on the inhale, press the palms together, draw them down to prayer at heart center on the exhale and open the eyes. Thank you so much for the beautiful practice today, everyone. I will see you again soon. Namaste. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Remember to subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment and please share it with your friends so we can continue to spread the positive energy through yoga.